<sighs> Alright. Okay, Dawson wants to talk about God. Hey, look at my new hair, guys. You haven't seen me in a while. I'm going to put this on my other, my YouTube channel, too. Um, Dawson was talking about God and, you know, Satan and stuff. Look, I'm spiritual. I used to be a Christian. And, you know, religion is man-made. They say it's all about the relationship. It's about Jesus and the relationship. And, you know, they say all this bullcrap. You know, you go to church, you'll be one with God. And, you know, it basically... If you just be obedient, what you do, and I do believe you should respect your parents, but, you know, when you do so much, and you do it, and you do it, and you do it, and you don't take anything for granted, and you're grateful for everything, but you get nothing back. I don't expect anything back, but you get nothing back. It's just like selfish beings, selfish human beings constantly, every single day. You know, it's like, think about this, if we could share everything, okay? The world would be a better place. And the reason why I'm spiritual now, I've been saved. It's hard for me to believe in God. For the last four years, I've been praying and praying, you know, for God, for things to get better with my family. And it's still, it's gotten a little bit better, but it hasn't gotten better. You know, Dawson's playing Defender over here. I mean, I've been praying, you know, to, uh, for God to help me find the right girl. That shit hasn't happened. They've all lied to me. They think I'm pathetic, crazy, and a loser and a creep when none of that's true. I'm an awesome guy. And, you know, I, I've been praying for God to help me find a job. You know, I've been to two interviews. I haven't gotten a job yet. Nope. Haven't gotten a job. I've been praying for a lot of stuff. I've been praying God to help me find ways to improve myself. None of that shit's happening. You know why? <coughs> I'm spiritual. I believe that I'm grounded and one with the universe. And that everything is energy with me. And the reason why I overreact sometimes is not because I'm over emotional. It's because I feel certain vibes. And when I get those vibes, I don't know where they're coming from. So it causes me to be in this weird state in order this bad mood. So I sit there for an hour and try to figure it out, and then I'm fine. Versus, you know, holding on to it. And that's the reason why I'm spiritual. And that's the reason why it's hard for me to believe in a higher being. I'll tell you guys a story. And you can judge me all you want. I used to be suicidal for uh, four, uh, five years straight, and not even a month ago, um, I tried killing myself. I took two shots of rum and uh, 12 ibuprofen, hoping that it would kill me, but it didn't, okay? I basically, it, it would just fuck up your liver. I don't know if my liver is still fucked up. I mean, I went to the doctor and said I was fine, but I spent a week in the hospital. Fuck you guys. I don't care what you think. I'm telling you a story. Probably all of you can relate to it. And I spent a week in there. And I recovered. I did the healing process. And I get out and I'm fine. I'm getting the help that I need. I'm seeing a therapist. And I'm seeing a psychologist. And it's, it does wonders when you can talk to somebody. Or go to your best friend and talk to somebody. But it seems like when you go to a girl. And you're not together with her. And you try to talk to her. She friend zones you. And then she doesn't want to talk to you about your gay ass problems. I understand that, but you should be there for somebody. Why do girls have to lie? Why can't they just be there for you? You know, it's like as soon as you're in a relationship with them, they're like, oh, okay. Well, now I want to talk to you about your problems because I care about you. But then they say you should be friends before you get in a relationship with somebody. Shouldn't they care before then? Right, Dawson? Totally agree. Yeah, and it's what I'm trying to get at. You know, I'm better now, and I'm taking Lexapro, but the thing about it is, I don't even want to take medication, because I just doesn't help. <coughs> it really doesn't seem. It seems like it makes people more depressed, or you're like having a sugar rush. But what I'm trying to get at, this video is getting becoming long before I go, is that the choices you make are all on you. 
I'm not being influenced by Dawson. I'm giving you my opinion. Okay? Life can be blissful if you just get this shit right in your head. Bye. <laughs>